The Honourable Leader of the New Democratic Party. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, by, by not opening a, a single new nursing home bed through this budget anywhere across the province, the government is having a, a severely negative impact on patient flow in the hospitals of the province. Across Nova Scotia, we have paramedics waiting 8, 10, 12, 14 hours uh, to be able to offload patients because there is no room uh, in the hospitals. Uh, we have patients who are being cared for on stretchers in hallways and corridors and in the alcove by the ice machine and Lord knows where because there's no room in the hospital. So, Mr. Speaker, I want to ask the Premier, does he not see the negative impact on the uh, efficiency and the quality of care in our hospitals that is going to flow from this negative decision not to open a single nursing home bed in this, with this budget. The Honourable Premier. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. In that long, uh, drawn-out preamble coming into the question, the reality one of the issues that he brought into that, Mr. Speaker, is the whole H of EHS that's being stopped in health care facilities is a real issue. It's one we need to address. The issue that he speaks about of long-term care patients, Mr. Speaker, he's equating that to the reason the ambulances are there. We don't necessarily agree with his vision of that or his rationale for that. What we do know, there is a challenge associated with EHS and ambulances being too long in hospitals. We're going to work with our partner to ensure that that transition, that, that handoff from highly qualified paramedics and the rigs that they operate in that happens to our health care providers so that we can transition back into ensuring that our highly qualified paramedics are out being able to respond to calls in the community. The Honourable Leader of the New Democratic Party. Mr. Speaker, here's a short preamble. The decision to not open a single new nursing home bed in our province is a disappointment and a letdown and a sadness to the people of Nova Scotia. And, there, and therefore, I want to ask the Premier, what else of the, are the people of our province to think but that he and his government at some level are failing to see or understand or grasp the depth of the health care crisis as we see it and experience it in the number of the people of our province who are living in hospitals because there's no place for them in a nursing home? The Honourable Premier. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I appreciate the question coming from the Honourable Member. Mr. Speaker, I disagree with the entire premise as he's laying it out. Mr. Speaker, we continue to invest where Nova Scotians have told us they wanted us to do. Uh, Nova Scotians have told us they wanted to remain in their home as long as possible. We continue to make that. We've reduced the wait list for long-term care by over 50 per cent. We're going to continue to work with families who are caring for loved ones, who loved one wants to be at home for as long as possible. We've done that by broadening the caregiver's allowance. We're continuing to work with them and our partners. And as I said to the Honourable Member in my first question, we'll continue to watch what's happening around long-term care uh, facilities. But the issue that he's using to analyze and equate why we need more long-term care beds is just not accurate, Mr. Speaker. 